find out what you're getting for Christmas is exactly what you asked for. Well, for me, today is one of those days. Well, well, not, not today exactly, but last week. Uh, uh, let me explain. So last week, my school announced that they'd be switching to hybrid learning. Hybrid learning is basically half the time on Zoom, half the time in class. And when I heard that news, got that news last week, right, I was so excited because I'd been wanting to go back to school for like the longest time. And really just to see my friends, meet new people, meet my teachers finally. So, I'm going to school in two weeks, first time in like the last year. I'm very excited, but, but what else is there to it? First, I think it's a step in the right direction. If I'm going back to school in two weeks, that means the COVID cases must be going down, everything must be getting better, because they're not gonna open up the schools if COVID's only getting worse, right? Now you're probably thinking I'm just excited because I wanna see my friends and get to hang out with them again, right? Don't get me wrong, that is very, very true, but it also leaves me excited for the future of other things like theme parks, movie theaters, other things that are closed right now. So if that means that schools can reopen now, then that leaves a bright future for other things that are closed. So that's number two. And number three, is, is that I finally get to meet my teachers. I know that probably sounds kind of dumb or whatever, but the truth is, I don't think I've ever known someone so well, like on a personal level, that I haven't met in real life yet. Like, isn't that just crazy? All you've ever seen of them is just one tiny video at the top of your computer screen. Like, isn't that just crazy? Like, like what the f no, but seriously, I'm very excited to meet all of my teachers, even though I don't like some of them. I'm still excited to meet these people who I think that I've known so well. Moving on from that, I'm looking forward to see all my friends again. A and as well as meeting new ones because I'm now in high school. Last year I graduated 8th grade, I went to like this super small K-8 through school. So I'm definitely looking forward to meeting some new people. Which is always nice, well, for the most part at least. <laughs> Finally, I'm just glad to be back. Be back, period. To feel welcome back in, into an environment where, where you feel like you belong. You know, with your friends, with the people you like to hang around with. That and, I mean, it's not gonna be the same as how it was in March of last year. It's almost like we're gonna have to relearn how to do school again. Like when we were in kindergarten, like how do you do this? How do you do that, you know? So I'm excited for this new experience. And if you're doing the hybrid, maybe not just at my school, but if you're a viewer who's, who's doing the whole hybrid instruction like in, in your school district, I encourage you to at least try it out. I mean, the school year is almost over. You only got two more months. I like to say make it count. So that's how I'm gonna make these last two months of my freshman year in high school count. To make me count. To make, make it count. count. So that is it for today's episode guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys liked hearing my thoughts and opinions of what I think of this upcoming hybrid learning. I'm really, really looking forward to it. There are some things that I'm still like skeptical about, but I want to embrace it and just take full advantage of what it has to offer. And so yeah, that's it for today's episode guys. See you tomorrow, see you in a couple days, see you in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.